and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Sunshine on Leith, episode 92. But it's going to be a really short episode, because I have struggled to get through all the games that I need to to just, to just show you the Europa League match. Um, you will notice, uh, if you're a little eagle-eyed, that we have now three League Cups, because we beat Dundee United to get the, um, the League Cup. Uh, let's pop over and have a look at the team. Uh, we've just managed to extend a bunch of contracts, so that's really good. I'm happy with that. Uh, that's the schedule. Let's look at the squad. Contract expires. And we only have Dylan McGeeh, who I think I'm going to let go. He's deteriorating pretty solidly. And um, despite the fact that he's an, an, an icon of the club... I think it's time for him to move on. Um, he's not really going to be up to playing in Europe, and we need players who can do that. So he's probably going to be moving on. Everybody else is signed to long-term deals. The only one I'm worried about is Mike Slawala, who will not sign. talk to me about a new contract. I mean, I'm not thrilled about offering him one because I only started this contract uh, six months ago, five months ago. Um, no, six months ago. And um, the problem with it is that he's got this release clause, $8.75 million, which I didn't think was a problem when we were signing him, because at the time he was worth $130K. Um, unfortunately, now he's worth 10.75, which means that he's worth more than his minimum cl release clause, which is attracting attention from some of the bigger predators, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. And no big surprise, that's turned his head some. However, what it's meant is he's scoring more goals, so that's not a terrible thing. I do have a bid in for a striker from Tottenham who looks pretty good. Um, where is he? Chris Claridge. We've got we um, made a signing. Ollie Turner, midfielder, center, um, will be basically McGeeh's replacement um, as he comes in. He's got some pretty good numbers. He should fit in pretty well. I'm pretty happy with getting him from the Premier League. And Chris Claridge, who's an underrated-looking striker. I, he's um, He's got some really high stats in the places where you really want them as a, as a striker. Um, look at the blue ones here particularly. 17 finishing, 17 anticipation, 14 composure, 17 off the ball. That's pretty good, along with Determination 16, reasonable work rate, pretty good passing, good heading. He's not very big, um, and he's not a big jumper, but he can head the ball when he gets to it. Um, he's brave. He makes good decisions. I mean, he's just he's a good player, um, and he just hasn't cut it at Tottenham, so we've made a bid, I think, of 1.9 million. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll see whether or not that actually goes through. But I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that it will. And if it does, then if Slawala does end up car carrying on, I'm okay with it. It'll it'll be all right. So that's our um, that's that. I, I don't remember if I've showed you the schedule yet, but I want to. I'm going to cut here to the. Um, Europa League draw, which happened a couple of weeks ago, but which I did record at the time, so here it is. So here it is time for the Europa League first knockout round draw, so I thought I'd bring you back for that, and um, I'm working away on getting through to the Europa League first knockout round. I'm playing all the games. Um, just give you a quick update on how that's gone. 2-0, we beat Dundee in the League Cup final, so we won the League Cup for the third time. We actually beat Paris SG in the last game of the Champions League group uh, to still finish third, but a respectable 9-point third. Um, we drew 0-0 with Celtic, thrashed Kilmarnock 3-0 with, well, I think we outshot them 28-3, and um, we also beat these guys. I can't remember what the... No, this was 28-3. to All right, never mind. Which was Kilmarnock then? 19-7. to All right, so it wasn't quite as dominant. But, um, yeah, that's been the thing. 
um, we've got Rangers coming up, but uh, and Dumbarton in the Scottish Cup fourth round before all before the unknown opponents for the Europa League first round. So that's what we're doing today. We'll have a quick look at the draw and wish us luck. There's some good teams in there, but there's some weak teams too, so we could get lucky. Schalke, Bordeaux, Lyon, Genk, Malaga, Torino, Nice, Villarreal, Lazio, Olympiacos, Legia Warsaw, Sassuolo, Spartak Moskva, Inter, Köln, Valencia, Braga, Feyenoord, Rangers, Chelsea, ouch, Celtic, Eindhoven, Stauer Bucharest, Monaco, Besiktas, Hibernian, we're going to Turkey, Shakhtar, Arsenal, CSK Moskva, FC Porto, which leaves Zenit, and Ajax. All right, there's your draw. We are going to Turkey. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going there first or not. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Um, we'll play the first leg will be played away on Thursday, February 22nd. So that means the second leg on the 29th will be at home, which is just where we want it to be. So that's good stuff. So I'll be back with the um, Europa League first knockout round. By that point, we should be, what's this, 4, 8, 11, 10. We should be around game, oh, that didn't help. We should be around game 26, 27, so we should be approaching the split. And uh, that'll be good, too. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. So now I'll pop over to the schedule and we'll roll it down. And you can see how things have been going. We are on an eight game unscored upon streak in the Premier League. So we've had eight games in a row without having conceded a goal. Um, or eight if you count it this way, we still have eight. So, but I am pretty pleased that we've got eight in the Premiership in a row. If we can get ourselves shutouts in the next couple of games, that'd be pretty good. I'd like to see that ten clean sheet setup would be kind of nice. So, um, as you can see, here's Besiktas as we drew in the Europa League draw that you just saw. And um, I think we've got a pretty good chance against them. I, I'm I'm pretty happy with that draw. I think we've I think we've got a reasonable chance. So I'm I'm hopeful, and we'll see if we can get on into the second knockout round, which I think is the quarterfinal, and um, and carry on from there. You know, we made it to the Europa League final a couple of years ago, and uh, lost to Liverpool. But I think that if we got to a good team this time, we could actually beat them. So I'm really really quite hopeful that we can do something in the Europa League this year. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I will be back for the Besiktas games. Um, I'm sorry I haven't got any games for you in this episode. I want to complete, uh, just continue grinding through these uh, these remaining eight games so that I can get back and bring you to the Europa League again. Um, so that's going to be that. I'm going to pop back over here pop up the credits, ask you if you feel like liking the video, subscribe if you haven't already, although come on, let's be honest, who's not watching this that isn't subscribed? Eh, that's okay. FM19 is coming and hopefully that will bring a surge in subscribers. Um, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate your time, I hope you have a great day, and take care.